celebration love reading for the Aries Sun Moon Horizon sign I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration okay ladies and gentlemen let's check out your love reading to see what exactly is happening for you Aries um the month of uh, uh, Aries oh you Aries are having conflicts in relationships a whole lot of conflicts with relationships um, you're not trusting your partner you Aries are not trusting your partners okay um yeah I, this is like you are playing um, there's power struggles in relationship there's a lot of power struggles in you Aries relationship there is so much power struggle okay um, some of you are conflicted by separation divorce so there's a lot of power struggles in relationships for the Aries so let's see what else is coming out okay power struggles divorce some of you someone who is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra could be affecting your relationship okay so let's see what's coming out for the Aries Sun Moon and Rising sign in communication you young people um, needs to communicate much better in your relationship you're not saying exactly what you want what is coming up there is a lot of communication problems with you young people um, past love is in the reverse whatever is is transparent and happening this is in the strength so some of you lose the strength to deal with your past love because the communication isn't there I've never seen it <laughs> there is a lot of gossip and that is the weakness is that you Aries um, there is a lot of gossip you Aries that is the weakness of your relationship because there is too much some of you Aries and that is what I said there's conflicts in relationship because the gossip comes up for you Aries some of you Aries are um, communicating too much especially you ladies in reality you just want to be free you don't want to have a relationship some of you in reality just wants to be free that is why this past love is in the reverse now whenever the fast love come up in reverse because these cards are not um, I don't read them in reverse that means that you um, this past love will um, but the gossip and freedom some of you wants to be released from a relationship okay mature women there is a lot of passion a lot of passion is coming up for the mature women some of you mature women could be communicating this to a younger person and they're gossiping over this so you need to be careful there is new love that is going to be coming in so you mature women could be meeting someone new and that is where the passion because uh, you mature women are having a lot of passion um, you're really coming up there is a lot of passion now there are these young people that is communicating and gossiping okay ladies and gentlemen um, you need to understand that um, especially you young ladies need to understand listen people business let it go okay especially when it comes on to romantic relationship there's a lot of communication I'm seeing some of you mature women are also communicating what is happening and what is transpiring with you and the thing about it is that you need to sometimes it's better to keep your private your relationship to yourself okay um, because this is what is affecting because the whole a month is all about communication it's all about gossip that is the center that is what is transpiring okay and that is in the center now deception um, and 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 this is the reason why there is deception in your relationship someone is wearing a false mask okay in the relationship and there and this is why there is just so much gossip is because someone is wearing a false mask in a relationship so whoever out there you got to find out are you the person wearing the false mask in the relationship or is it your partner but there is someone who is wearing 
a false mask in a relationship around you and there is where the gossip comes from because people realize that someone is not being very honest in a relationship okay um, healing family issues now some of you who are dealing with past life love you need to heal a family issue because this is coming from past life okay so some of you what is showing up for some of you is that some of you are dealing with an issue from past life and it has to do with um, families that was connected in a past life so what they're saying is that some of you either had um, family issues where you were married to like um, people in your own family cousins and that sort of a thing and it needs to be ill um, and, and and forgiveness uh, parents a lot of you are coming up with forgiving the parents because um, because of your parents I'm seeing some of you have uh, um, issues in with relationships and that is affecting you so Whatever that has to inspire, I'm saying that your um, parents, you have having issues because of your parents. Free yourself. So there is twice freedom. A time to, 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 it's time to take back control of your life. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay, so it is in the position of reality. So these two, in reality, some of you need to take back control. Uh, a control over your life some of you definitely need to take back control um, um, over your life because uh, um, you need to have your own freedom take back the control over your life you need to have um, freedom okay so this is really coming up and this is what I'm saying it is to you guys make the effort okay um, great love is worth ta um, taking the step to make the effort and this is for some of uh, you um, um, women okay you need to make the effort okay and this energy is coming up for young people so what I'm seeing the issue with young people is that uh, because of your financial stability some of you or just um, getting out there um, some of you you know really want to enjoy um, your relationship but because of um, money and your career um, this is what is having an effect on you so because of money on career this is what is having an effect on you so I'm seeing this is what is going to be affecting the young people in their relationships or in love and that's going to be communicated is because of financial stability okay in a relationship and that sort of a thing now here what we're seeing is that it's it's not affecting only you Aries in the relationship it's affecting other signs that young people because they're trying to balance out their lives um, you're seeing this coming up in relationship a lot okay so the past life issues the really the the, the 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 problem in relationship with past life has to do with uh, um issues grow with your parents how um whether you came from a single family whether your father wasn't there or your mother wasn't there but a lot of you need to heal this issue in this month because it's having an effect on in with your relationships or your marriage now okay some of you are going to get engaged engagement is coming up with a new love so some of you are going to be meeting someone new and you're going to be getting engaged okay soulmates are coming in all right so this is good so some of you are going to be getting engaged and it's to your soulmate some of you there is someone um that you're going to be engaged to and is a soulmate a soulmate is coming in that you're going to be getting engaged to i'm seeing engagement coming up for um someone out there so if you were thinking if it's going to happen yes it's going to happen okay you're definitely going to get engaged um 
definitely I'm loving this for you Aries actually so you Aries expect to meet your soulmate and if you are thinking if someone you're with is your soulmate they're saying yes it is your soulmate I'm seeing an engagement coming up between you and this person um, they this this relationship that some of you are in the soulmate relationship is going to be really really um, taking a step further and this is really good okay this is really really good um, you know the commitment of this relationship some of you are going to be meeting someone new and this person whoever this person is this new love that is coming in this this person is as if the universe have sent this person in your life okay this new love that is coming in is as if the, the universe have sent this person in your life and this person is going to begin a new phase of love and begin a new chapter for you and this is going to bring you a lot of happiness it's going to teach you again how to love and understand what love what, what, what is it about don't be afraid whoever this person is is coming in don't be afraid open up to love because you are going to realize that this person who is coming in you're going to end up um, being with this person for a very long time okay this new love that is is, is coming in you're going to end up and en being engaged also with this new love so a lot of you engagements are coming up for the soulmate but engagement are also coming up with someone who is about to meet someone else and uh, um, the soulmate relationship is here but also for um, new love um, you're going to be getting engaged so engagement is coming up for new love but it's also coming up for um, the people who are in soulmate relationships okay so this is um, beautiful this is um, really beautiful let's check out the single to see what's happening for the singles and remember these these readings are for both male and female sometimes when I call out on the female energy is because it's going to affect the female more but it is a male and female okay so let's see what is coming up for the singles Aries what's happening for the single Aries okay so we have two people who are going to be affected the single Aries people is the older man and um, it's the older man and um, the younger man between the ages of 35 and um, 55 35 and 55 okay um, for these men you are really affected because you're single and you're really affected okay and it has to do with uh, some of you are going to be uh, meeting your same sex some of you who are in same-sex relationship is going to be having a relationship with a younger man this is a soulmate so some of you mature men who are in same-sex relationship is um, meeting a younger man and this is your soulmate okay so yeah some people don't like to hear that but yeah we do have same-sex relationship we just have to respect the whole fact of um, that you know we're all here on different journeys and we're here to experience different things okay the wallflowers you're going to be definitely getting up and you are going to be looking for a relationship so the wallflowers are definitely going to be getting up and looking for a relationship I'm seeing finance and career um, that is affecting you um, single people whatever it is it's affecting you single people it is finance and career that is affecting the single people um, and I'm thinking that because you're single you're trying to hold on to whatever you have okay um there's an elin um that is going to be coming in for the more mature people and the wallflowers the wallflowers are people who stay in 
and disconnect from the world because they were badly hurt I'm seeing I'm seeing deception is coming up and um, for the people who are in same-sex relationship or the people who the Caucasians um, I'm seeing deception in your soulmate relationship there is deception in your soulmate relationship okay um, and I'm seeing that some of you singles need to make the effort um, to go out there and try and connect with someone else make the effort and try to go out there and connect with someone else okay there is something about the Caucasian young men that is coming up and it has to be it has deception um, deception with a soulmate okay so it's a karmatic thing there is some deception with a soulmate some of you are having deceptiveness with a soulmate and this is someone from a past life and um, some of you some of you, um, you men between the age of 30 to 50 um, that's the age group that is coming in I'm seeing some deceptiveness that is transpiring okay and it has to do with an older lady um, um, the burden is over um, it has to do with an older lady that is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra remember um, um, I'm seeing this energy with uh, someone who's an Aquarius Gemini or Libra this is an older person whoever this older person is um, if you're in a relationship with this person I'm seeing really that there is a really some deceptiveness that is going on between these two people okay so um, be aware of this be aware of this um, there is definitely some deceptiveness let's go in and look and see what is happening between um, the people who are coupled up couples people who are coupled people who are coupled up what's happening people who are coupled up some of you are coupled up in really good relationships um, this is here um, I'm seeing some of you are going to be some of you are going to realize that you are in or connected with the right person it's as if you're realizing how beautiful this person is it's as if you have never really realized that this is really a beautiful person and it's as if um, now um, you are going to be um, realizing how um, someone who was you know just in your life some of you are starting new relationship and whoever you're starting this new relationship with there's a lot of passion but um, it's an older person this person is from a past lifetime some of you are in a relationship with an older person from a past lifetime okay let's see this and um, or it could be married but this person wants uh, um, like an open relationship it's as if they're not leaving their wife but they still want to have you as part of their lives okay so I'm seeing this happening so let's see some of you who are in a relationship is realizing that you know this relationship is helping you to spiritually grow this relationship is really helping you to spiritually grow and this relationship uh, um, you know you have an open relationship but it's helping to you to grow spiritually because it's as if you're realizing that you're seeing um, that you should be with this person so sometimes open relationships make you realize the gem that you have and that is what is going to be transparent because it's as if some of you are in a open relationship maybe the other person is not aware that you know you there are other people in the relationship but it's an open relationship and you're realizing that uh, this is the person that I should be with this is the person that pulls my my art string you know so this is good because it's actually teaching you to learn to love yourself but at the same time learning to love 
to other people and realizing that one is really a true gem and this person some of you are going to be really seeing this happening and understanding that life is full of surprises but it only gives you what you want okay and this is good because um what we're seeing and what we're understanding from this relationship is that because of this open relationship you're basically understanding and um, now you're deciding that you want kids so um, you are going to decide to choose for one person now the other relationship is uh, um, some of you are married or some of you are going to be married soon some of you who are in relationship the the relationship is going to take a le another level and and that level is to become a union um, so this is going to happen very soon um, it's, it's, it's because it's as if one of the one person is in the relationship is thinking about um, surprising you whether it's at Christmas or Thanksgiving or you know for your birthday whatever that is coming up they are thinking about surprising you and this is going to be very soon because I'm seeing the energy of they are trying they're looking at it and they're trying to surprise you they're going to be surprising you um, to ask you to marry them so that is good some of you old and mature men are in a relationship and uh, um, whatever that is transpiring in the relationship I'm seeing um, that because of the children there is no more passion you older men um, because of the children um, there is no more passion so you're looking outside for a fix so I'm seeing most of you mature men are looking outside for a fix because um, of the kids there is no real um, situation that is happening for you where there is no passion that is coming up in your relationship so you're looking for a fix outside I don't think you want to be with the person it's just a fix that you're looking for outside okay so you're not going to leave your family to be with this person you're just looking for a fix so this is what is happening and transpiring so not to worry about it Ladies and gentlemen, this um, is your love reading for the month. There is nothing. It's just that there is a lot of conflicts with partners um, that is happening. Um, and it's, it's just an healing because it's the month of September. People are saying what they feel and have never said before. So don't worry about it. It's going to be okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you for coming. Namaste until next time.